about a year ago I got into flying quadcopters. Uh, it's been a pretty fun hobby. I've enjoyed learning the skill. It's something pretty fun to do. It's been something I've enjoyed doing just kind of on my own. My brother up in New York City got a quadcopter at the same time I did. He actually was the one who had the idea. Like every great young brother aspiring to be like his older brother is, I followed suit. Um, and we had a good time attempting to learn how to fly over a 4th of July weekend about a year ago. After that week, we just kind of stopped looking back on it. It was because we were misled a lot by the people that we bought quadcopters from. Told this was the greatest, this was the best thing to do, this is the best to buy, all that kind of stuff. We should have known better. We're grown men. We're not kids. We should have done our research and probably things would have been a lot more enjoyable that first week. So, fast forward about nine months after our vacation, my brother sends me a message and says that we need to figure out what's up with our quads and figure out how to make them flyable. For in that time, both of us have started watching a lot of Joshua Bardwell's and UAV Futures tutorials and reviews and started watching a lot of, or basically all of, Late Dribs and Mr. Steele's videos on them flying and their vlogs, which was entertaining. So we came up with a plan. We basically gutted our quads. We had the Nighthawk 280 Pros, and those were, in our opinion, pretty much a joke. Mine had a severe problem where the accelerometer became unglued from the main board and would flop around, and that basically solved every issue that I had. So we came up with a list of things we wanted to buy. Uh, we ended up getting Betaflight F3 controller. I don't remember the, <clears throat> I don't remember the um, ESCs at the time, but we used the same motors that came on it and we were like we'll, we'll fly with them, we'll make this work and we'll fly with this. So come to our next 4th of July week vacation and whoops wrong one whoops wrong one I'll get it over here in a second It was an interesting week. We had a full week of flying and trying to fly and crashing and learning and basically everything else that you do when you are first starting off on this wonderful hobby. Thankfully we spent a lot of time in the flight simulator so we didn't quite damage the quads as much as we possibly could have. While we were flying uh, one of the biggest issues we had was our enjoyment of the quadcopter that we had. Nighthawk with better equipment still worked, but the way that we had some of the physical stuff set up, we ended up <clears throat> smashing the camera a lot, losing GoPros in the field, which we all luckily recovered. Just a whole onslaught of stupid stuff. So, anyways, long story short, we had a good weekend. We both came home. He went back up to New York, and I came back down here to Louisville, and we both spent time flying, and he got tired of the Nighthawk, so he bought himself an Armitan Chameleon, and I continued to modify the Nighthawk and pseudo-design a top cover that made dealing with it a lot nicer. Had a slight issue there, needed to fix that. Yeah, so he brought himself a Chameleon, and I just kept on playing with design, 3D printing parts, testing them, breaking them, and that brings me to today. I decided that I wanted to design and build my own frame. While I was building this revision to the Nighthawk, I decided I kind of liked the design and wanted something a little bit better than the plastic. I decided that I want to turn it into a piece of carbon fiber um, and fly my own frame. I spent a little bit of time modifying playing with the design in Inventor and coming up with something that I would enjoy flying. That's kind of where this journey is going to start. <clears throat> and that brings me to today, the day I want to start kind of fulfilling that project. To be able to make the parts, I've spent some time upgrading my CNC router. This was a project I've been working on for a couple months. A couple months, a few months, more like a year. 
And I just kind of got it to a point where it's able to cut really nicely um, and make pretty decent parts. But one of the things I needed to do was finish the was to finish the dust collection system so that I can keep control of all the carbon fiber dust. And that is what I have here. Everything was designed and printed on my 3D printer. If you can see right here, during a 18 hour long print, the power goes out halfway through. So I just finished the print and glued them together. Bracket, um, it's independent of the motor. So I can change the chuck out. I can set it to the height of the material without it moving with the spindle. I messed this part up already. This needed, uh, whatever. So I need to remake this part a little bit shorter to get it where I want. Not too concerned about the wobble. I hope you come along for the journey. It should be interesting. Um, I'm sure we'll both learn a lot and we'll have a quadcopter at the end. Uh, in the next video, I probably will go over some of the details of the design, basic layout and all that stuff, and hopefully be practicing cutting carbon fiber on the CNC router. But for now, there's a couple of modifications I need to make to the dust collector, uh, so I'll leave you here and I'm going to get to that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.